Good morning, children. In yesterday's class, we learned how to sort out the animals, right? So you are going to answer me now. The animals whose body is covered by feathers, what we call those animals? They are birds. The animals whose body is covered by scales, what we are calling them? They are reptiles. Whose body is covered by dry scales, they are reptiles. Animals whose body is covered by feathers, they are birds. Animals whose body is covered by moist skin, they are amphibians. They are amphibians. Animals who will give milk to the babies, who feed their babies, they are mammals. So birds have feathers, reptiles have dry scales, amphibians have moist skin. Mammals feed their babies. And before this, animals who are having fins on their body, they are fishes. So this all you learnt yesterday, right? One example we will write. Any bird, crow, any reptile, cobra, any amphibian, frog, any mammal, cat, fish. So, these all animals, you learned how to set out them by observing physical features, right? And commonly, they all are having backside of their body to take the support what they have. They are having backbone. So, these all animals are with a backbone that you learned yesterday, right? Now, you see children, we do one small activity now to understand today's lesson and to find out our lesson name. Okay. Now you see this animal. Which animal is this? This is cockroach. Which animal that is? Cockroach. And what is this animal? This is crab. Crab. And what is this animal? This is spider. Spider. Now look at all these three animals children. In any way is any physical feature common in these animals? And yesterday what we discussed those animals. Any physical feature is common in both of them? See, do they have feathers here on their body? No. So, they are not birds. Do they have scales on their body? No. So, they are not reptiles. Do they have moist skin on the body? No. So, they are not amphibians. Do they give milk to the babies? No. So, they will not even come under mammal group. Then how? What way we can keep, we can sort out these animals? In which group we need to keep these animals? We will see today. Okay. In common, yesterday all the groups in common, what they have? These all the groups of animals are having a backbone. And are you finding any backbone in these animals children? No. You... You are sitting to the class along with your books, right? So, once you see your volume book along with your content book, you see the volume book also, children. There, what is given in the volume book? Different animals. Skeleton is given. What is given? Different animals. Skeleton is also given. Skeleton is nothing but bony framework. Bony framework. A bony framework known as skeleton. All the bones, how they are atta attaching to each other. That we can understand by skeleton. 
so you are able to see different animal skeletons in that right do the bird have a skeleton yes and do the birds have a backbone yes are you able to see in your volume book yes do the reptiles have a skeleton yes reptiles have skeleton snake skeleton is given in your book frog is frog skeleton is also given then frog is also having backbone and skeleton fishes are also having backbone and skeleton even reptiles are also having backbone and skeleton mammals are also having backbone and skeleton so these all animals which are having backbone we studied yesterday then in these animals are you finding backbone see the skeleton in your workbook are you finding any backbone in the skeleton no so these animals are without backbone so today we are going to discuss about animals without backbone so what's our today's lesson is animals Our lesson is animals without animals without backbone. Animals without backbone. Our today's topic is animals without backbone. You know the animals which have backbone and which are having backbone. Whether the animal have backbone or not, to find out what we need to see, we need to see the skeleton in your home. Any ant or a house fly died, mosquitoes. You collect the dead body and find out. You examine that clearly and try to find out. Do they have any backbone? Okay. Do they have backbone? You just observe by observing that skeleton. Okay. So these animals like cockroach, crab, and spider are not having backbone at all. So what we call these animals which do not have backbone? They are known as invertebrates what we call invertebrates the animals which are not having backbone we are calling them as invertebrates then the animals which have backbone what we call do they have any scientific name yes we call these animals vertebrates what we are calling them vertebrates the animals which have backbone and which have skeleton we are calling them as vertebrates the animals which do not have backbone these all cockroach crab and spider what they are not having they are not having backbone no backbone and they are also not having skeleton they don't have skeleton they don't have backbone so such animals are known as invertebrates what we are calling them what's the scientific word for them invertebrates what they are not having invertebrates no backbone and there is no skeleton what is skeleton means a bony framework bones attachment of all the bones forms a skeleton so did you understand children what's the difference between vertebrates and invertebrates very good now you open your volume book and we'll try to answer the questions what are given in your volume book we'll see now okay you see different animals skeletons are given first to go through that understand what's the skeleton means and then come to the first question can you find backbone of invertebrates so you had seen cockroach crab and spider skeletons 
In that skeleton, are you finding any backbone? No, they don't have backbone. So, what answer you will write for the first question? First answer, can you find backbone in invertebrates? What you can write? No, we cannot find backbone in invertebrates. We cannot find backbone in invertebrates. In invertebrates. So this answer you complete in your workbook children. And see, go to the next question. Apart from the backbone, what are the other differences between vertebrates and invertebrates? Vertebrates and invertebrates leave about backbone. You understood very clearly. Vertebrates will have backbone and invertebrates will not have backbone. You leave about backbone. Can you identify any other differences between vertebrates and invertebrates? Any other difference are you finding? How this frog will be? How this spider will be? Which is the bigger, larger animal? Of course, frog is largest animal than the spider. Right? You observe fish and crab. See both the animals. Which is the larger animal? Of course, the fish is larger than crab. And see, next one, what will take? Cockroach, you see. Cobra, you see. Which is the larger, largest animal in both of them? Cobra is larger than the cockroach. So what you are understanding by this observation? You can say that vertebrates are larger animals. And how this cockroach will move? How cobra will move? Which one will move very fast? Cobra, of course. Cobra moves very quickly, right? And crow, you see. Crab, you see. Which moves faster? Yes, crow can fly very fastly than crab, right? Then you see cat and spider, which can move very fast. Cat, of course. So, by this by this comparison, what you are understanding? Vertebrates are very larger and vertebrates can move fast. They are larger and faster animals. So, can you write the second answer now? What you are supposed to write near the second one? Vertebrates are... Vertebrates are... Larger and faster. Larger and faster. Of course, the main character of vertebrates, they are having backbone. Invertebrates do not have backbone. Apart from that, vertebrates are larger and vertebrates are faster. So, did you understand the second answer, children? Very good. And the last one is, I told you before only, in your home, night time we'll use the bat for killing mosquitoes, right? That time some uh, mosquitoes will fall on the ground. You collect one dyed mosquito and you observe it. Okay. Do you find the skeleton? Do you find the vertebrate backbone in that mosquito? Just to go through it and try to find out the answer. The question is, is a mosquito vertebrate or invertebrate? How can you be sure with your answer? What do you think? Either mosquito is a vertebrate 
are invertebrate. You collect the dead body of mosquito and observe children. Try to understand what is the backbone. Okay, what is the skeleton? You try to understand it. It will be very useful for you in further classes. So now tell me in which group we can keep the mosquito. Whether in the vertebrate group or in invertebrate group. Where we have to keep. Yes of course many got an answer already. Mosquito is invertebrate. Mosquito is a Mosquito belongs to invertebrate group. Which group? Invertebrate group. Why we are keeping in invertebrate group? Mosquito, why we are keeping in invertebrate group? Because mosquito do not have do not have what they are not having? Mosquito do not have Backbone. Mosquito do not have backbone. And when backbone is not there, no bones only, then how the skeleton is forming? So there is no skeleton also. That's why, based on this reason, we are keeping mosquito in invertebrate group. It is not having backbone, it's not having skeleton, so it comes under invertebrate group. And we also discussed in second answer, vertebrates are larger and faster. Then mosquito is larger or smaller? Smaller, no? So in based on that also we can say mosquito is an invertebrate. Okay children, understood? So, in today's lesson, what we discussed? What are vertebrates? What are invertebrates? The animals which have backbone and skeleton are known as vertebrates. The animals which do not have backbone and skeleton are known as invertebrates. Then vertebrates examples are birds, reptiles, amphibians, Mammals, these all belongs to vertebrates group because these all the groups are having backbone and also they have skeleton. And animals like cockroach, crab, spider, mosquito, housefly, these all are not having backbone so they come under invertebrate group. Understood children? So nicely read from your content book about vertebrates and invertebrates and your home assignment is complete your complete S4 worksheet. Complete S4 worksheet. This is your homework children. Up to here, we are completed block 4 and block 5. So, block 4 and block 5 content book, practice questions are there back of your lesson. Those answers I will send you next week. Meanwhile, you also try to find out the answer for practice questions. How many answers you are able to write? You continue and even I too will send you the answers. When you get the answers, you just compare your answers and what madam has posted to you. You correct them. If you write all correct answers, it's well and good. Okay children, nicely read the content book and try to answer the practice questions. Before that, you complete S4 worksheet in your workbook. Practice questions answers. I am sending you don't worry. After getting those answers, you can write in your notebook. Okay children, thank you. Sing the vertebrates song. Some of us 
salon and some of us are tall some of us have feathers and fly through the air and some of us live on the land and have a lot of hair we are the vertebrates fat and thin some of us have scales and some have moist skin some of us use lungs to breathe and some of us use gills some of us live in the sea and some live in the hills